Did somebody say Gravy Timothy? Uh, yeah, it was actually one of the people that live in my head. They say it quite a lot. It only seems to come out, though, when I'm playing Hoi 4. It's kind of weird. As you may remember, a few years back, quite a few years back, actually, I kind of, uh, I'm losing track of the time and how quick everything's kind of flying by here. We did ourselves a little challenge of doing paratroopers only in Hoi 4. And as you've kind of told from the, uh, the past few months on the channel, I've been wanting to recheck a few of the older challenges we have done. Uh, I mean, we did tanks, infantry only, planes only, but one of the other videos I did back in the day was paratroopers only, and also like submarines only, but I've kind of also ticked that one off a bit with the past couple Brazil games. Yeah, but we did paratroopers only. Now, as you know, recently, there was a massive rework of special forces, and I did want to make this video a while back to really have a good look at what paratroopers are really capable of now, but, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna do paratroopers only. Now, if you're not too sure, out of the three special forces in the game currently of mountaineers, marines, and paratroopers, paratroopers are probably the one you're not going to use too much outside of a few gimmicks and maybe early capitulations on nations. Famously, if you play Italy or Germany, one of the best things you can do is simply uh, paratroop into France and they'll immediately capitulate, which still works to this day. But yeah, compared to the, the few different buffs you get through the mountaineers and marines, uh, paratroopers don't really have exactly the best track record even with the new update they're very specific in their uses but maybe today we can change that and of course if we're doing a meme game uh, i think the best place to do it is the us of a so if you ever watch my old paratroopers video we did it as the germans and i'd, I'd recommend probably doing it as the germans if you're ever going to do this because you can pretty easily take over everyone in europe very quickly but i thought it'd be a bit more of a challenge believe it or not to do it as the us the paratroopers do have their limitations mostly in range which is definitely going to make uh, this whole asian front a little bit difficult i think uh yeah it's uh definitely not wheelchair accessible is it roosevelt sorry i meant paratroopers accessible a uh, bit of a freudian slip i'm afraid but for the rule set of this challenge it's pretty simple we need to either attack with paratroopers or land with paratroopers we're not allowed to use any other units we're okay to put other stuff in a paratrooper unit but we're not exactly allowed to you know spice it up by putting 15 tanks in it no thank you these units need to be able to be dropped via the parachute mechanic which you cannot do if you say put non-parachute units in, as far as I'm aware. And like I said, Special Forces did get a rework, but out of the few branches they have, the uh, the Paratroopers one is definitely not exactly one you're going to be going for a lot. But it does come with some very special bonuses. If you want to go ahead and turn your units into human kamikazes for some reason, you can literally just drop your Paratroopers into a province and they will reduce and damage uh, a whole bunch of factories and infrastructure in the state. So if you've ever run out of uh, bombers, just turn your men <laughs> into giant bombs. Uh, what's well, definitely a gimmick. Uh, mechanic. I don't think we'll be using that one when it has a uh, much better version over here, which is when you actually drop into a province, the unit's base there will have their current organization reduced. Very handy. Now, on top of that, you also get airborne armor, which means we can go ahead and put a light tank as a support company in our unit, which will come in handy because uh, we can't really put too much else in there and now for the bottom part of this tree there's actually really not a lot here you get a few little bonuses to your units but nothing crazy and the kind of bad thing about it is it's really hard to choose between each branch because neither of which is too special uh, now the one i am going to go for is because obviously we need to use only this unit is in fact the right side so that we can get the special forces cap contribution reduction for our divisions which is going to come in handy but on the left side you do get a pretty damn good breakthrough and soft attack bonus and an org bonus up here so uh yeah, wish I could take both, but no thank you, says Paradox. You will use the terrible paratroopers. Now, you also ain't gonna believe me here, but to drop these men from the skies, we're gonna need something to get them to the skies, which is why we need transport planes and then also fighters to get air supremacy. Now, whilst air supremacy is vital for this challenge to succeed, I am gonna go ahead and limit myself to not using any cast because it is paratroopers only and cast does kind of, um... 
We'll just carry anything in this game. Now, because we're going to need a heck of a lot of air XP for the start off so that we can get through all of our reforms on our special forces branch, I will go ahead and immediately get ourselves a air reformer just so we can start piling up that XP. There we go, 200 political power down the drain. I hope you're worth it, Henry Arnold. Yeah, also, we're going to keep our units uh, in America just to get our special forces cap up as well. So it is based off of that. And uh, these units are not allowed to leave the Americas. Um, and if somehow I get invaded, which is going to be miraculous to say the least, I, I definitely don't see that happening. But if it does happen, they have to all go to the, the farm where Salt Happy national guard go when they've lived a full fulfilling life aka they're all going to be shot so i'm already scoping out our paratrooping landing and as you can see we get quite the range on our transport planes definitely enough to get into taiwan over there the only problem i can really foresee though is maybe the airport's not being that generous into getting into mainland japan when we're probably gonna then have to go into korea but we can actually get a bit of a bonus on our transport planes from our range focus mio which should go ahead and give us a little bit more but not too much it gives an extra 10 percent really spoiling us today we're also just gonna go straight into getting a attache over to china as well just so we can milk even more xp and a little bit of war support which will come in handy later so yeah as i said earlier with our actual paratrooping division here it does have to be all paratroopers in this i don't think you can even put light armor in even if you've got that unlocked sadly we can keep it as a support company which is very handy but it's all gonna be paratroopers only uh, but i already these are some pretty decent stats and once we actually build out a good tank division as well they should get up a little bit more uh, but again with a, a unit this big as well we're only gonna be able to get two of them at the moment so that's not looking too good all right so we're already gonna do giant wakes so we can immediately get off of civilian economy too as soon as we get that as i have saved up all my political power now like i said to actually get our special forces cap up we're gonna have to spam out a lot lot of units and this is going to be uh, the only thing we can realistically do to get more than three right now because that's where we're that's what we're looking at at the moment uh, we we might actually reach scraping the barrel as america this game so giant awakes done partial mobilization and we'll uh, i guess we'll go to volunteer only We've got no choice currently sitting at zero manpower quite literally just bursting into american men's homes shouting you my son are joining the army you have no choice but don't worry you're just gonna sit around on the beach all day training now another handy thing you can do as the americans is actually get the airborne divisions bonus over here which gives you another five percent buff to your special forces but considering the absolutely horrendous one you can get as brazil i can't even remember where is it like over here you get a 15 percent as brazil five percent as america <laughs> yeah you just gotta love these old focus trees don't you okay so believe it or not considering we need a lot of range specifically in the eastern area or i guess my western area america's the center of the world this is now the west uh yeah i'm gonna start off with heavy fighters just to get the range on japan which we will desperately need they are going to be disgustingly expensive but uh <laughs> well we don't really have a choice do we yeah i also just stole greenland by a push of a button i will build a singular road there okay we're gearing up for our little kerfuffle with the japanese right now and we've got up to 18 paratrooper divisions ready we could have gone much smaller to start off and i think we probably could have done the same amount we're gonna get done with these guys realistically but also i want the ultimate paratrooper division oh i forgot we also get a, a bit of special forces camp from this guy over here albeit it's only six and uh i you know six isn't really gonna make too much of a difference at this point i'll be real with you i could get i get one more out oh god okay yeah so my heavy fighters uh just looking at them right now they get a lot of range uh that <laughs> that's pretty nice yeah the transport though uh not too much you can see how my uh upgraded ones actually go against my non-upgraded ones because i have two versions of them now one with the buff one without the buff and uh yeah it's pretty much 
10%, I guess. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of rubber. By the looks of things. And aluminum. Hey, chaps. Here they come. Okay, I have no idea if I can actually get enough supremacy here to get a landing. Uh, if I can, that'd be very funny. Because I'm then gonna go ahead and land in China behind them. So, yeah. First off, I'm just gonna land two of these guys behind the lines to get them weakened. And then I'll land everyone else after that. Um, when they've got the org debuff going. Japan just uh, landed in Manila and immediately dropped like 10 units on it. <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, safe to say they won't be making it home. Okay, so we're actually getting ourselves uh, air supremacy pretty easy. I mean, we should. Uh, we, I mean, we're literally using like super overpowered heavy fighters against whatever the AI considers a good play. The uh, only problem is we do have to get air supremacy in a whole bunch of different zones. We need it in the Philippines, South China, see and on Taiwan and I don't have a lot of planes. Now, I have got a bit of air supremacy here so I am going to go ahead and try to get these landings and boom look at that already. Look they just lost half of their org right now so if I just land the rest of these guys right oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I also executed Paratrop Battle Plan using a certain number of divisions. Oh, <laughs> I got a medal in the game in real life. I uh, I can't wait for that to turn up at my door any day now, Paradox. I will put it on my uniform that uh, I wear <laughs> when I record. Okay, you know, heavy fighters are damn expensive, but they, they do their job well. Also, I don't know if you saw in that clip, but I'm pretty sure the paratroopers are bugged. It, all that, I'm just not reading it right, but this is only supposed to proc one on one power drop so the effect can occur once per state every 30 days that happened twice in one state because uh, i dropped on them and then it, it dropped halfway and then i dropped again and uh well, you know what we'll test it again here oh, i'd love to show it off but um the fun part of paratrooping is you need a 75 percent air supremacy to get a drop off I don't have that. Okay, we're up to 75 right now, so let's go ahead, just shave it just in case. All right, so here we go. Fun science experiments with Isoro Productions. We're gonna take a look at these units right here and look at their actual org right there. So if we drop these guys on here, you can see that org went down halfway, but then we're gonna drop again and see if it goes down even further, which it does. Hmm, paradox. Okay, so yeah, unless I'm reading this uh, horrendously and uh, it, it's meant something else, the effect can occur once per state. Once per state every 30 days. You know, I'm just... <laughs> Nobody tell paradox about this. Oh, there you go. I'm going to get another medal in the mail. Oh, so uh, my, my planes all merged into one super plane there, you know? American engineering, baby. Yeah, even with, like, direct combat, okay, these paratroopers are doing pretty damn well well as well. In fact, I haven't even looked at the stat. Oh, they got a 300 soft attack and uh, 114 break free. Not the best, but the 21 armor is probably what's uh, keeping them pretty much uh, unstoppable for the Japanese right now. Oh, uh, yeah, also China, this land now belongs to America for some reason. <laughs> I'm sure they're definitely not complaining about this. If you really wanted to get super sweaty with actually using these units to like their full potential, say you can't take Qingdao right now and you wanted to make it a little bit easier for yourself. Oh, you know, they easily break them. Why not just go ahead, drop one unit on them. There goes all their org. And then if you really wanted to get super sweaty about it, just drop an another unit on them. And the funniest thing too, you don't even want to commit to the attack and it's on the front line, just retreat out of it. <laughs> and then, uh, cause you could just endlessly de-org, just drop another unit on it and boom, you're now taking the province with <laughs> no, literally no resistance. And you know, again, across this river is going to be pretty difficult. If only there was something I could do to make it less difficult. But yeah, of course, I'll just drop one guy behind the lines. Simply drop a fella from the sky and and that'll cause chaos everywhere. And then uh, follow it up with a second fella that will cause even more chaos. Yeah, I just love the fact I can drop a unit over here. And then the, the Japanese over here heard the tales of millions of Americans dropping from the sky in panic. Okay, well, there's the Japanese army pretty much kicked out of China. I've actually been paying attention to Europe at all. I mean, it's good and it's bad. They actually took Greece completely. They're losing Sardinia. Not bad, but they did take Leningrad, or I should guess call it P. 
Piatari now. Uh, considering we just uh, pretty much wiped the floor of Japan that easy, I think we gotta do something spectacular for the liberation of Europe here. Uh, which means I'm gonna need uh, a bit more special forces cap, so uh, let's just... Get a few more Americans in the army. Off though, gonna go ahead and take care of the Japanese. Unsurprisingly, not too difficult. Okay, there they go. I'm gonna take Korea. There you go. Not bad. All right, now it's time to go show uh, the rest of the allies what this <laughs> pitiful display of D-Day should actually look like. First off though, I'm just gonna give Patton a couple million more men just to stare into the ocean with. For this plan, as you may notice, one, they've actually got a landing down here. Hopefully this doesn't uh, make my plan look stupid. But the majority of the German armed forces are all over here kind of expecting us to land, you know, and do a D-Day. Which uh, I was originally going to do until I realized Western Germany has nothing in it. And uh, conveniently, I got a heck of a lot of range on these transport planes. Heck of a lot of range and also a heck of a lot more paratroopers thanks to Patton's grand army that is now encompassing all of the like east of my country. Okay, well, this is going to take a little bit of setup. The problem we're getting with right here is that I can't actually see what's under all these orders now. All right, I reckon that should do it. Now watch, dear Timothy, as I magically teleport my army from over here to over here in a few clicks of a button. Oh God, please work, please work, please work, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was actually landing on units there. I don't know if you could tell, but I, I'm pretty sure I overran them by deorging them so quickly. There you go, I've actually reached Berlin before he did Paris. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I guess I'm taking over the faction too. Uh, I can now kick the... <laughs> no, I'm not gonna... Um, why is uh, Italy... Now hungry. You know, j just not going to question that. I'm now just going to click this button, though, and hopefully capitulate the Germans. Who do it? Don't care. Well, it, you know, I ain't too sure about this one, though. Um, I think we did it a bit too hard. Wait, why are we still even... Because we need to capitulate Bulgaria. How? Uh, you know what? That won't be a problem. Well, um, I was just going to teleport behind them, but it looks like my allies are already uh, got most of the job done. So... I, there's the finishing blow. Oh, wow. Well, uh, yeah, my, uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't think I'll be taking much. <laughs> yeah, uh, technically, uh, I can do too much in terms of participation there. But, uh, you know, we won it overall in our hearts. And as such, we took the greatest prize. Um, Alsace Lorraine, because clearly you, you two can't be trusted. Oh, and this part of Albania. They'll write tales about my victory. We also uh, went for West Germany, East Germany, and now... <laughs> hey, but that was paratroopers only. As you can see, paratroopers insanely busted uh, with their little bonus they get for de -orking. And if you just spam out enough units, you can get quite a few of them. Uh, now, obviously, I made my uh, paratroopers super buffed as well. You could make these even larger whips as well and get them even uh, a bit, bit more formidable as a fighting force. But obviously, I had no problem whatsoever. This was my last template. And for the tanks... I can't actually remember what I built here. I'm pretty sure I just stacked a whole bunch of softer tanks. There's not really too much you can uh, you can do your light tanks here, but uh, yeah, not that bad. Uh, but yeah, other than that, pretty standard unit. Just got all the artillery. The only other thing I had was I got the pioneers in there for the extra breakthrough, defense, soft tackle, all that stuff, which you get from the marine tree. So uh, technically, I guess I almost cheated there, but no, I said I could use support companies. So yeah, even though paratroopers are super limited, and if you do want to use them like I do, you really have to uh, invest quite a bit. I mean, I've got 257 full divisions spammed out just to get them to that many out. Uh, but yeah, if you really want to go ahead and use them properly, you got to micro them. As you can see, they can just destroy a front line immediately with their, uh, their broken ability, which I'm not even sure if that's how it's supposed to be broken or if this is how it's intended to be, but I'm not complaining, Paradox. Keep it in the game. Hey, but if you enjoy this challenge and you uh, want to suggest another challenge for me or that you've seen a challenge on the channel before that you'd like to go back, don't say artillery only. Go go, like, go back and see done again in the uh, newer versions of Hoi4. Leave a like. Hit the subscribe button down below. And uh, I, I just realized Finland's still going in on the Soviets. <laughs>